It's a lot of fun to grow your own herbs, and it's even more fun when you have something like this cute rack to dry them on. Trace Barnett from The Bitter Socialite is going to show us how to make this. You've always got great ideas, and this is a very cool one here. It is, yes. So I'm going to be at the Country Living Fair um, Saturday and Sunday doing two presentations, and on Saturday, it's all about herbs. Okay. How to grow them indoors, utilize some out-of-the-box containers, a couple great pesto recipes, mm -hmm. and then we're going to make this drying rack, which is super fun. So, so whether you've got a big yard or a small yard or just a container box, this is something that we could all use. It is, yes, and it fits in any kind of space. So you can use this in your kitchen, on your back porch, whatever. Okay. So you can utilize anything from this old um, radiator grade there, which is always really fun. Yeah. Any kind of old wire basket uh -huh. or just a simple cooling rack that you probably already have in your kitchen already. Yeah, okay. So what you're going to do is I love to take a textured spray paint and go ahead in a well ventilated area mm -hmm. and spray that really well. Okay. I love a light color because that way the herbs really pop on this drying rack I and you can you. really see them as they dry. So the purpose of this drying rack is is, you know, you can take your herbs, hang them, especially in the summer when mm -hmm. there's an abundance of herbs, just fill that up and you can have them through the winter. All you need is after you've spray painted that, get a little bit of this hay bale or twine or you can use any kind of jute. Okay. And I use the same twine to um, top my herbs when I put them on the rack to give that cohesive feel. And all you're gonna do is just tie some simple knots, just like that, and make sure you tie those really tight because the least thing you want mm -hmm. is for your rack to fall okay. when you're sitting yeah. there admiring your hard work. <laughs> One thing I love about this drying rack, as you can see, and go ahead and even that up wherever you have, okay. um, wherever you hang that. One thing I love is in addition to drying herbs, you can add in um, garlic or onions directly on top. Mm -hmm. And if you have the cooling rack there, you have that little bit of a gap so you can put the stands yeah, out, yeah. which okay. isn't a, a, a great part of drying mm -hmm. the garlic too, which is very flavorful. So when you're drying your herbs, go ahead, take a little bit of, we're using rosemary here today, break that off. I love to use those in like a four to three to four inches. Mm -hmm. That's a really good number to go with. And make a little bundle, and then you're gonna use that same twine there, and you're just gonna tie that up and hang that. And it's roughly gonna take three or four weeks for your herbs to dry, and then you can just um, take those when they're dry, mm -hmm. and you just crumble them up into a plastic container, and you're ready to go and for the rest okay. of the winter. Oh, fantastic. So uh, is there any particular place that you like to, to use in the maybe on the porch or in the kitchen area to hang this? When it's, you know, when it's beautiful, it's summer, hang those on your porch um, out of the direct sun, okay. and the wind, the breeze, is gonna be perfect to dry those herbs. Now this is perfect for a little balcony or in your kitchen if you don't have a balcony or an outdoor space, and they're gonna dry just as well as they would outside. All right, fantastic. So great information there. More great tips from you coming up this weekend. Tell me more about what we can expect to see at the Country Living Fair. Oh, the Country Living Fair has, it's basically the Country Living Magazine come to life. There's 200 plus vendors, all kinds of speakers. There are artists and foods. There's local chefs, local restaurants. So there's tons to eat, see, shop, and do. Yeah, so and where's this set again? It's in Lebanon, Tennessee. Okay. So come on out Saturday, Sunday. It starts Friday, I'm there. Saturday Saturday, Sunday, and we're going to be canning. We're going to be doing herbs. Okay. So it's going to be fun. All right, fantastic. And we'll give you a quick lesson here. Lebanon. Lebanon. Oh, Lebanon. Lebanon. You know, Lebanon. You know, I'm from Alabama, so we can get away with mispronouncing <laughs> stuff. So I always like to throw in an extra syllable or a letter. In uh, there, that's so. all right. <laughs> uh, but go see Trace this weekend, thebittersocialite.com for more information. If you'd like to learn about this drying rack, and come say hi to them this weekend at the Country Living Fair over in... Lebanon, Lebanon, Tennessee. All right. <laughs>